As President Trump and former Vice President Joe Biden took the debate stage last night, sitting in the very front row was Kristen Urquiza, the San Francisco woman who blames the president for her father's death to COVID-19. She attended the event as a guest of the Bidens and says the chaotic debate was no easier to watch in person than it was for those of us watching on TV. The harshness of the president's words uh, grating on me, but I had a picture with me of my dad. Just kept on looking down at that and up at the president and just feeling such betrayal and such pain. Watching from home was John Dennis, the chairman of San Francisco's Republican Party and a longtime supporter of the president's. Like Arquisa, he also lost his dad to the coronavirus. Do you blame the president for your father's death? Oh, God, no, no. I think we give these politicians so much more credit for what they are capable. Dennis says he thinks the president came out of the gate strong by rattling Biden, but that his strategy to interrupt his challenger and moderator Chris Wallace may have gone too far. Let him go on. Don't interrupt him a little bit. Let him just go on for a little while. And then, and then punctuate it with your, your, your comments after he's finished, as opposed to interrupting him in the middle. For Orkisa, back home now in San Francisco, there's one moment none of us saw that she will remember most after Biden talked about losing loved ones to COVID-19. In that moment, I took a deep breath in and, and Dr. Biden uh, noticed it and she leaned over and just gently touched my, my shoulder. Mm. And it was... Um, it was exactly what I needed to, to, to have in that moment, to be seen in that way.